Good morning, and welcome to WBKS News. Today is Monday, September 23rd, and it's A Day. I'm Tyler Curtin. And I'm Tasia Noble. Seniors, be sure to check out your senior tour buildings and board outside of Mr. Shepherd's room. Be thinking about hallway decorations and folk buildings for homecoming. Bring base supplies like markers, tape, crepe paper, and pictures for Mrs. Hansen's room. Let's make your hallway the best, most spirited hallway ever. College visits will take place over the next few weeks, and we will have over 50 colleges to visit in at BK. If you are a senior interested in attending one of these colleges, you must sign up in the main office. Today, college visits are Ionia College at 8.30 a.m., Canisius College is at 10 o'clock, and Castleton College at 11 a.m. Attention seniors, EGU Mall will host the College Fair tomorrow, September 24th, from 7 to 9 p.m. Wednesday the 25th, the College Fair will be at Marketplace Mall from 5.30 to 10 p.m., and on Thursday the 26th, at Grease Ridge Mall, 5.30 to 10 o'clock. This is a great opportunity to meet with the admissions counselors and gather information on your schools. Okay, BK, let's give one last big push and sell those magazines and tubs of cookie dough. Money and order forms are due tomorrow during lunch in the cafeteria. Remember, all money raised will go towards creating awesome events to make your year fun and memorable. Homecoming is almost here. We all need to start bringing in supplies for homecoming building decorations so we can prove that we are most spirited during SAP. We will vote on which Disney theme we will use for this year's float. If you are applying for a student parking pass, please pick it up in the main office today. Seniors can now order their senior polos at the Lion's Den. Short sleeve shirts are $20. Long sleeve shirts are $25. You must pay for the shirt when you sign up. Orders will be taken until Tuesday, September 24th. Information is available for anyone thinking about joining the BK Ski and Snowboard Club. So give it some thought and stop by Mrs. Hansen's room to pick up an information sheet. There will be a meeting of the core council of student government today during first SAP. Also, all spirit team members must report to SAP. Thank you. So, are you going to help decorate for the senior fall? Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be supporting this year. How about you? Yes. Sorry. And now we turn to the BK Sports. The varsity football team bounced back this week and defeated the Warsaw Tigers with a score of 55-15. to Tyler Curtin went 11 for 16 with 397 yards, passing and seven touchdown passes. Arnold Brown received four receptions with 206 yards and four touchdowns. And Jalen Long had four catches with 114 yards and two touchdowns. Keep it up, Kings. The BK Cross Country team ran well again this weekend. Ryan Carter again led the team finishing 12th with the time 18 minutes and 18 seconds. Three more varsity boys finished under 21 minutes and 30 seconds. John Carroll, Joe Tanner, and Nick Hadges ran excellent races through a pretty steady cold rain. Zoe Pedraza and Alicia Opet finished 10th and 13th respectively in their race. Julia McMahone has discovered her inner runner and ran a great race. And finally, Nick Bruno finished hard passing multiple runners at the end of the race and finished 27 out of 106 runners. Next week, the McQuay Invitational. Today's practices are varsity football at 3 p.m., all girls soccer at 3 p.m., all boys soccer at 3.15 p.m., girls varsity volleyball at 3.30 p.m., and boys varsity basketball at 6 p.m. Today's games are junior high football versus Geneseo at 5 p.m. And that'll do it for sports. So, good job winning the game. Thank you, thank you. I'm Sterling Beatty. I'm, I'm Tasia Noble. And I'm Tyler Curry. Have a great nice day. day.